On behalf, on behalf and on behalf of my delegation, Mr. President, I want to say thank you very much for the hospitality extended to us and the wonderful reception we have received from you, Mr. President, your government, and the great people of South Sudan. I made this official visit, uh, Mr. President, after my visit here on your Independence Day, almost over 10 years ago. And I am impressed by the amount of progress that has been made since I was last in Juba. As you have said correctly, Mr. President, we have engaged on issues that are bilateral between Kenya and South Sudan, issues that are regional for our East African community, and issues that affect us as members of the international community. We have agreed that any policy changes in Kenya would affect the trade situation, especially of commodities that pass through the port of Mombasa. And I have confirmed to you, Mr. President, the government of South Sudan, the business community in South Sudan, that the government of Kenya has now clarified our position that goods out of the port of Mombasa can be cleared either in Mombasa, in Nairobi, or Naivasha. There are no restrictions on your business people and your traders on where 
they clear goods. Contrary to the situation that existed before, we have realigned our position so that the companies that the business community and traders had before, we have now cleared. Now traders for clear their goods out of any part of the northern corridor, either in Mombasa, in Nairobi, or in Naivasha. We have also agreed that as a region, we undertake as the guarantors of the peace agreement that we are going to work with you, your administration, and the people of South Sudan in consolidating the peace in this country because it is not just important to the people of South Sudan, it is important to our region as East Africa. And Your Excellency, I can confirm to you, to your government and to the people of South Sudan that Kenya will continue to stand with you to make sure that the people of South Sudan live in peace and that the agreement that you have signed and as as guarantors, we're going to assist and make every effort and put all mechanisms at your disposal to make sure that the timelines that were agreed that will lead to a peaceful South Sudan are adhered to. Your Excellency, let me also confirm that Kenya is going to provide materials as you consolidate your security forces in line with the agreement that was signed under IGA, the 50,000 already integrated security forces and the next batch of 50,000 that is going to be integrated, Kenya is going to supply boots, uniform, food, and medicine to support the integration process of your security forces so that they can participate in securing the lives and property of the people of South Sudan. Your Excellency, let me also confirm to our brothers and sisters in South Sudan that they will not be left alone. We are going to be walking with you this journey, and I will be back here soon. The president has been gracious enough to offer us a piece of land, and I will be here to come and inaugurate the construction of a chancery and embassy in Juba as part of ensuring that we build the already established relationship between our two uh, countries. I have also informed President Salva Kiir that Kenya is also going to make available land in Mombasa for South Sudan to have a dry port so that we can facilitate and ease the doing business between our two uh, countries. Your Excellency, again, on my own behalf and on my behalf of my delegation, I wish to very sincerely thank you for welcoming us to this great city of Juba and the hospitality extended to me and my delegation. I wish to say thank you very much, and I take this opportunity again to welcome you to Kenya. It is important also that you and me have agreed on the Lapset Corridor. As I informed you, the road from Lamu to Garissa and on to Isiolo is now being worked on and will be complete any time now so that we can connect our people for trade, business and investment using the Lapset Corridor. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for agreeing that Kenya and South Sudan will work together to resolve the matter of the road between Nadabala and Nakadok 
and that we have jointly instructed our ministers and governors on the ground to have an urgent meeting to resolve the issues so that we can complete the construction of the small section that is remaining of that road. And we have also agreed that our officials, both from South Sudan and Kenya, will jointly work with our development partners to ensure that the road from Nakadok gets onto Torit and finally to Juba so that we can connect South Sudan and Kenya and increase our volumes of trade and investment and make it that much more easy for goods and services to move between our two countries. I have undertaken, Mr. President, that uh, we're going to establish a Kenya Revenue Authority post to facilitate trade between Kenya and South Sudan at a place to be agreed upon in the Northern Corridor section. President of the Republic of Kenya, who came to visit us today, Mr. President, you are coming to Juba sends a very clear message to the world about the strength of South Sudan Kenya bilateral relations. Our two countries share historic ties cemented by the people to people relations created by Kenyans, dielectric uh, policy to host our people during our war of national liberation. We are grateful for your, for your country's generosity then and, and even today, we look forward to building on these relations in order to achieve a better future for, for our respective people. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am pleased to inform you that President Ruto and I met and discussed a wide range of issues. These issues covered areas of mutual interest between our two countries at bilateral and regional levels. We also briefly touched on international files especially on the issues where we feel presenting presenting the unified position on them can advance African interests. In our discussion, I thank President Ruto for visiting us and pledge our, our country's cooperation with his administration in pursuing areas of common interest regional and international. We also briefly touch on economic cooperation. As you are all aware, 
almost all our imports come through the port of Mombasa. And, and any policy change on Kenyan side with respect to imports, to import clearance, locations, locations is often fell here in South Sudan on locations is often fell here in South Sudan on commodity prices. For example, the Naivaita dry port For our two countries, with these remarks, I would like to end my thanking you, Your Excellency, the members of the press, for covering this event. It is my great pleasure.